is Tracy Reed here today and I'm coming at you with an unboxing of my brand new Anywhere But Here collection and I am not gonna lie I have been dreaming about this collection since January um, dreaming about travel dreaming about getting out of this house dreaming about being fully vaccinated and being able to be around people and I am just so excited to bring this collection to you. Now, whether you are braving travel this year or you are dreaming of travel but not quite making it out yet, or you have older travel uh, photos to scrapbook, this collection is going to be perfect for you. It is gigantic as per usual. There are two sets of journal cards, a set of traveler's notebook signatures. There are 20 patterns, 12 solids, and there are 115 no, 105. There's 105 stickers and 115 digital embellishments. And we will talk about the digital kit in just a moment. So let me pull this stuff aside and we are going to start with the patterns like we always do. So a reminder, the patterns come in 12 by 12. They come in traveler's notebook size and they come in patterned card size. Now what's really cool about the patterns this time around is there are two full map patterns. One is a um, United States map and the other one is a, here it is, it is a world map. So whether you are traveling in the States or you are traveling all over the world, there is a pattern for you and I made them especially in the 4 by 6 uh, size to fit on four by six cards so that you could um, get the full map with those sizes as well. So the pattern cards come with four by sixes and they come with three by fours. I choose to print out the four by sixes because I can always trim down a three by four card to be, or I mean a four by six card to be two three by four cards. If a pattern has a specific orientation, it comes on the printable sheets in both vertical and horizontal orientations. You get a vertical and horizontal three by four and four by six um, individual files anyway, but if you wanted to print the printable sheets, you get both options when you print out the printable sheets. No um, Photoshop required. So let's look at the patterns in a bit larger size. So I print out my patterns in uh, eight and a half or eight and a quarter tall by five inches wide because that is the size of a life crafted album. So a traveler's notebook size, and let me pull it one of the traveler's notebook signatures uh, so that you can see. A traveler's notebook size is what they actually come in, and it is a touch skinnier. It is three quarters of an inch skinnier than what I print out. Now, if you want eight, eight and a quarter by five inch, like I have, um, it is super simple to get the 12 by 12s and print them in the appropriate size. I have a video in my digital tips, tutorials, um, uh, playlist. That's the word I was looking for. So let's check these out. There is of course, I had to include these a bazillion illustrations that I included in this collection. You can see there are cars, there are trailers, there are mountains, there are hot air balloons and suns and scooters and cacti and uh, there are palm trees and arrows. There are so many illustrations in this collection. It's not even funny. I could not stop drawing. So of course, there is going to be an illustration paper in the collection. Then I have a lot of really great tonals as well to make scrapbooking super easy. So you can see if I lean in close to this one, it has little plus signs. Everything is nicely textured. There is some distressing on some of the papers, lots of like ephemera looking things. Um, these have, this one is a pink with black polka dots and it has these tickets along the edges. So you get that same vibe, that same theme without too much distressing but enough to be fun. So here are some geotags and you can see they have heart cutouts in the middle. I love this one. It's sort of like license plates is the vibe I was going for. Multicolored ooh, license plates. You can cut these out individually and use them, especially at the 12 by 12 size. A nice bright yellow sunshiny daisy paper. This is the main floral in the collection. It is on navy. Lots of fun florals here. Hearts. 
Here is another fully illustrated paper. I spent forever drawing all of these stamps and they are all included in the stickers as well. But look at how fun all of these stamps are. I don't even know how many there are. There are so many, there's like 20 different stamps. I love this big bold beach stripe. And I love the color palette in this collection. It's super summery, but without feeling like you would only use this collection for summer. So what's fun about the Traveler's Notebook Size Papers is for the map papers I included, and this is the same in, in the actual 12 by, or I mean, Traveler's Notebook Size. I included these papers so that you could have two together and it would form the full map. So that is super fun. So there's two extra papers in the Traveler's Notebook papers so that you can do that. I love this sketchy doodled arrow. Of course, we have some very basic patterns as well because those are always great for um, complementing the wilder patterns. I love this distressing on this black and white stripe, making it unique. Colorful arrows. This one is such a fun pattern. They're compass roses overlapping to create a sort of geometric pattern. Here again, we have another map paper. And of course the 12 by 12 version is just not cut down the middle. This one is the United States. I had so much fun drawing all of these motel keys and they all have different references. So room 112 is a reference to that uh, 112, the R&B group from the 90s. It's where the players dwell. There is the Rosebud Motel from um, Schitt's Creek, which my favorite quarantine show. I miss that show. And then this one says the Great Northern Hotel, which is from Twin Peaks. Here is a more tiny stripe. This pattern always gives me all of the travel summer vibes, so I had to include it. And then this one is a wordy paper. And then I have some phrases highlighted, so I'd go anywhere with you, trip of a lifetime, globetrotter, wherever you go, be all there. I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. Chasing waterfalls takes my breath away. Pick a spot on the map off on an adventure, let's be tourists, all of these fun phrases. And it just makes such a great sort of neutral background too. Here are all of the colors in this collection. So we've got, all right, I had some extra papers printed out for some reason. We've got three different shades of coral, two shades of yellow, two shades of green, Two shades of blue, we've got a navy and a light blue. And then three neutrals, we've got white cream, or white craft, and black. This is actually an off-white, it does have some pattern to it that's sort of hard to see on camera. So those are all of the patterns for the Anywhere But Here collection. Again, they come in 12 by 12, traveler's notebook size, and pattern card size, three by fours and four by sixes. So also in this collection is a set of traveler's notebook signatures. You guys have been loving the traveler's notebook signatures. And so I have been including them in all of my collections for the last oh, few months. So there are 12, basically they are journaling cards, but they are at traveler's notebook size. So they are um, a lot larger. These are 8.25 by 4.25. I like to have a combination of patterns, journaling, and um, sort of the signature designer cards. So this one says adventure is out there. I love this vertical stripe sort of like a beach towel. Life is short, roam far and wander wide with a compass here. You can see the distressing around the outside edges, which is really fun. I love this journaling um, sort of white paper. You don't have to journal on it. You can use it to, you know, put your, put your photos on, but I love all of these hot air balloons. They are so adorable. This one says, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go on an ombre wood grain. I always like to throw in some ombre in all of my collections. It's my favorite. I love this one. This one reminds me of a man's like shirt, right? With the pinstripe in the background and these palm trees. Just something a little bit different, a little less vibrant so that you can 
scrap a little, uh, you know, the more masculine pages or just things that need a little bit more of a neutral background. This one says top 10 highlights where you can highlight all of the best things about your trip or maybe your bucket list or the places that you've been. There is no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as this. I love these vintage map backgrounds that I included in a lot of this collection. They're very subtle in a, in a lot of places, but this one is map in the background with wood grain as well. This says, wherever you go, be all there with that big geotag and these splatters. A nice neutral floral journaling card with the floral on green instead of navy. Love it here with all of those cute hearts. And then go somewhere you've never been. So those are the Traveler's Notebook signatures. Let's look at the actual journaling cards. There are two sets of journaling cards. Each set comes with eight three by fours and two four by sixes. So this is um, set number one. I love throwing in song lyri lyrics as a reference in my collection. So this one is a Tracy Chapman lyric. It says, you've got a fast car. I've got a plan to get us out of here. And of course it's cute with a travel theme and maps in the background. And then I always like to include a journaling four by six as well. So this one says nowhere else I'd rather be. It is framed so that you can cut it right down the middle and have two cards. And this will be a three by four that says nowhere else I'd rather be. And then you'll have a full border around this journaling area if you wanted to do that. The three by four cards are a mix of journaling and signature cards. So we've got, I love this one so much with the road on the bottom and the mountains going off into the sunset says wherever you go becomes a part of you with the map. Travel log, destination and date. I always find that people or cards that are designed for travel logs or, or things like this have too much information on them. So I tried to keep this one a little bit more simple and just put destination and date with place for journaling. Let's do some sightseeing with the camera. We are here. Let's just go. So much world, so little time. Let's escape and breathe the air of new places. The second set of journaling cards are the same. There is four or two four by sixes and eight three by fours. So this one says, love this place over and over again. And then take me anywhere but here, which is how I'm feeling right now. Fun fact, I, on the spur of the moment with my best friend and my husband, uh, booked a trip to Miami while I was <laughs> designing this collection. It inspired me so much to get the frick out of here that I am getting the frick out of here. <laughs> Destination, vacation, population, us this way. Adventures, big and small, I love them all, which I thought was an appropriate little phrase with this cute scooter. Cacti. I tried to really make sure that there was stuff for anywhere you could go, whether it's the beach or the desert or the mountains. Explore, go see do. Geotag with the map in the background and places to journal. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Travel notes. And I left my heart in paradise. So those are the three, or no, all of the journaling cards, three by fours and four by sixes in the collection. Last but not least for the printables are the stickers. And I'm going to pause here and I'm just gonna lay these out just for the sake of time because I know it takes me forever to lay them out. Oh my gosh, you guys. I almost didn't have enough room to fit it all on camera. There are 105 stickers in this collection and you can see there are so many adorable postage stamp word arts. I love them so much. There are tags, there are um, all of the illustrations out and about. 
if you'll never go, you'll never know, go find yourself. There are a series of tags that um, are like their labels and it says like checked off the bucket list, totally worth the hype, weekend destination, a favorite with the locals, this place had the best food, tags that say wanderlust, just go. And so the adventure begins, all booked, enjoy the journey. And of course, there are fun little icons like the hearts and the geo tags. There are arrows. There are just anything that you could possibly need for a die cut is in this pack and it is huge and I love it so much. I had such a hard time making sure it all fit and everything was working together so well. I just, you know, when something's like a work of heart, that's what this is for me. I love this collection so very much. I hope to get it um, sent off to some paper company eventually to get it printed. I know I get that question a lot, but for now it is a digital printable collection. And of course, all of my collections, all of the printable portions of my collections come on printable PDF sheets. These stickers come with silhouette outlines. They are specially designed on printable sheets for the silhouette to fit perfectly. There is a um, video linked in the description box below that talks about updated um, printing instructions, printing and cutting instructions for the silhouette. They also work for the Cricut. Uh, they do need to be sized just slightly smaller for the Cricut because the Cricut has less printable usable area than the silhouette, but just slightly, just enough so that it fits and it works in the software easily. So I'm going to move over to the digital collection, the digital kit, which does not come on printable sheets. I get this question so much. It does not come on printable sheets, but it is still fully printable if you want to make your own printable sheets. The difference between the sticker set and the digital kit is that all of the illustrations in the sticker set um, are flat and look like stickers or die cuts. The illustrations in the digital kit and let's move over to that. The illustrations in the digital kit are meant to look like faux versions of an embellishment that you would get um, in real life. So the textures in this collection are wood veneer, um, epoxy, rubber, corrugated um, corrugated cardboard and there is also chipboard there's faux flare there's a ton of really fun things in the digital kit but it is definitely designed with digital scrapbookers in mind rather than printables so it is does not come on um, printable sheets but it is still fully printable if you want the texture so this is the digital kit it includes 113 embellishments 20 all of the 20 patterns of 12 by 12 papers and 12 solid 12 by 12 papers and that adorable uh, alphabet down there in the bottom right hand corner that looks like um, map paper and it is so fun and it's such a cool neutral um, alphabet for this collection so that is it that is the anywhere but here collection it is available in my shop right now there is a link in the description box below if you are interested in picking it up please let me know if you have any questions below and i will see you next time all right thank you